Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This is an anti-night problem um, sent in by Virtual. Thank you for sending this one in. Um, so the way anti-night works is it's very similar to normal Sudoku. So digits um, cannot repeat in rows, columns, and boxes. But digits also cannot re uh, repeat a knight's move away. So if you were to um, think about a knight's move, um, I'm going to pick on this central cell, um, and I was to say that this um, digit was, uh, 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 well, we were to say, where could this not repeat? Any cell that is a knight's move away, which is one in one direction and two in another, whichever way I draw that shape um, from that cell, you cannot have the same digit. So this digit could not appear here because that would be drawn by an L. It could not repeat basically in any of those squares as well as the normal um, Sudoku eliminations because I can hit all of those squares by drawing that L. So that's how the anti-night constraint works. Um, there is a link to this problem below where you can give this one a try for yourself. Um, and then uh, I will be back in a few seconds to explain how this problem works. Okay, so um, the trick to this one is basically understanding how th um, the that extra sort of knight's move um, puts pressure on the grid, particularly by starting off by looking at this four and this eight. Um, if we look at this eight, um, it sees all of those cells in the row and it sees those two cells in um, by knight's move. So the eight is forced into one of those two cells. And if you look at this four, it's even more constrained because it can't go in any of those cells. It can't go in those by knight move and it can't go there by um, the fact that there's a four in the column. So this is the only place in the box for a four, which has taken the position of an eight and that becomes the eight. Now the two and the six here, now, cannot go in the central band, so they have to go in one of those two cells, and this two here resolves it. That becomes the six, and that becomes the two. These cells are now forced to be from one, three, and nine, but this cell is seen by both one and three by knight's move, so that has to be the nine, and these become a one and three, but we don't have to resolve that for this problem. Now, this cell here is the last one we need to get, but you need to use a slightly different trick for this one, which is... You cannot put four in this column, you cannot put four in this column, and this four sees that cell by knight's move, and because you cannot put it there, because there's already a digit there, that has to be the four, it's the only place you can put it in the box, and that is the solution to this problem. Very nice little introduction to anti-knight, I thought. I, I really liked this one, so thank you Virtual for sending it in. I hope everyone is enjoying the series, and I hope it's helping them uh, to improve their basic Sudoku skills. Uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching, um, and as always, Good luck with your solving.